So this is actually something I did not really expect to see and this is of course the first person mod for Ghost Recon the Wildlands and holy shit they made a good job with this one. I mean the look system is pretty, is pretty much still there but instead it actually looks like I'm turning my head so you can see your backpack here, and yes, there are some, of course, some clipping issues and stuff like that, but... I mean, this is a tiny mod, and they knocked it out of the ballpark with it. And, of course, I can look down at my weapon, and I can see the, de the details on my vest and stuff like that. And, of course, I can just switch my weapon to, for example, the MP5, because we are the HK crew here. So, we gotta get going towards one of those cars, and the first person aiming, Time pretty much. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Hooah. Right, so the first person is not just limited to outside. Uh, of, uh, it's not just limited to uh, on foot. Uh, as you can see, it's fully in effect while driving cars as well. Now, I've never been particularly good at driving one way or the other. But I can really say that the immersion of the title, I mean, this is really fucking good. Because the, the way the look works, I mean, I desperately would like for my head tracker that I use for flight simulation. If Ubisoft made this mod into something official and just turned on head tracking or eye tracking to go with it my god we would have a really really fun mod here I mean and still th this is pretty brilliant so far and from what I heard about this mod from other sources they essentially tell me that it's has become it makes the game more difficult because the third person will grant you an overview that you otherwise would not have so it's gonna be very interesting to see here and of course the just the sheer fact that you have have your operators and you can actually look at them in much greater detail now so we are going to enemy activity nearby move up I mean, just looking down at the gun is pretty impressive as it is. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. So we don't want to spook the target, and this is pretty much a part of the mission that I usually can do in my sleep. Target. Let's move. So it's going to be interesting to see if that holds true with doing this in first person as well. I don't expect it to be much of a change, but hell, what do I know? Tango's goes down. Oh crap, target is spooked. Target is most likely very spooked. We got him before he managed to get some shots off, but uh, I think that's yeah. All yeah, so even stuff well, like tagging, supplies. tagging supplies and stuff like that, they're oh, they're on alert. Which probably means the Santa Blanca lieutenant is... Yeah, the lieutenant is running. L l I mean, I really feel bad about bragging about being able to do this mission blindfolded now. We done? Oh, shit. Uh, that... They're on alert. So, oh. Oh, 
Oh, that explains it. I'm so used to the T button being used to remove the suppressor. I don't know. I don't even know where these guys came from, but dear lord, I did not see them coming. I mean, are they? I've never had the had those guys turn up ever. So we're gonna switch to our sniper rifle, sniper rifle, the PSG one, and we are gonna have a look here. This looks pretty empty in the camp below, so maybe they just ran up. And of course, the close quarters combat is also somewhat easier in the first person mode, so we are gonna have to be careful about this. Oh, crap. You gonna execute him because he hurt your feelings? Clear. Okay, so th this is pre this is pretty in impressive. Doing the interrogations in first person. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? You serious? That's what this is about? Your thing? He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you! We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Ah, uh, there's the food supplies. Let's grab those, and let's go grab a Moro. So, this is a really, really interesting bit of. I'll drive. Let's get moving. Yeah, Cartel come on. Wait let's around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. All right, everyone's aboard. Let's go. So yeah, driving in first person. It's probably always gonna be my bane, but hey, they they really made they really made this immersive, and I can't really tell if Ghost Recon Wildlands always had this potential. And well, this to be fair, this detail, or if um, the mod actually I don't think the mod actually adds anything. Because the mod is like a one XE file and then a bypass for the anti-cheat. And yeah, we basically... We fucked up with the driving. Alright, that's a civilian vehicle. We can't uh, just take a civilian vehicle. I would really much like to, but... Uh, we're the good guys here, so we're just gonna leg it until we can get to the farm. So yeah, obviously my driving is a lot worse when it comes to this, so it's gonna be interesting to see just once we reach the target about one kilometer away. I'm also a bit interested in seeing how the helicopter controls transfer. That's gonna be really imp interesting. So yeah, target in sight. 800 meters and closing. So when I'm running you can even see b both the radio and the jeans. So obviously this is... I mean I'm just stunned at the fact that most first person shooters will not allow you to look down at your own body in this way. And the fact that this mod allows you to just adds to the entire immersion of it. 
So they have really done a proper job with it. So we're gonna equip our suppressor as we close in on the farm. And almost there. Right two hundred meters and closing. Copy on the bad guys. The drone is up. Oh, close to that the drone point. also. I don't, I don't recall having the propellers. Here's target number five. All right, we have the majority of the targets marked. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round. Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Two tankers down, move up. All right, breathe easy. Prep the frag. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Secure the main room. Go. Go loud, go loud. Spotted. Tango down, tango down. Let's go. Come on, Amaru. Time to go. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. The helicopter is still in one piece. That should be good enough for us to carry you out of here. I got it. I'll fly. Hello. Get out. Nice. All right, everyone's aboard. Let's go. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces, Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. So yeah, the helicopter feels good as well. Not as many opportunities to look around, but I think if you put the helicopter flying mode on classic, <coughs> you'll have every every uh, available method to, to just look around. Sorry about that, and I'm just gonna cut it short here. I just want to enjoy it without talking to you fine people. And we are going to deliver Amaru, and that will be it. Bowman will be pleased. Everyone out. Come on, Amaru. Let's go. There's a weapons case over here. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it, so. Nice. I got a sniper rifle over here. Perfect. Let's go. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si, Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. 
We'll turn over every rock. <laughs> 